pocket and sit down. Now, Have a sit down. Sit. Fit. Hum. Quan. That right toe. My nigga been hustling, trying to make him something. Ain't no telling what he'll do for the play. Ain't no telling. Souffle, punch straight. I stay my plate, shot gate. I'm a smooth operator. I drop top of my wheel, baby. That car driving make you feel some type of way. I know you do. That custom brightly make you feel some type of way. I'm shining, ho. This bitch on we got me feeling some type of way. Okay, okay. Is it cause my homies rich, you feel some type of way? That right. Some type of way, make you feel some type of way. Her she wanna fuck me, know you feel some type of way. Mr. CEO, it's what my title say. Me and my homies, DJ Ho, he feel some type of way. Okay, now let me real, I know you feel some type of way. I know you do. When I get the bite on her, if she make that Tyson face. Don't look like that. I drop down to my knee, thankful for life today. No nap since long sleep. Let go, let go. I can tell if he 12 yeah. right away. Go through hell, cause I care. Move you far away. Drop you off late. No, he feels some type of way. I got hoes like golf trying to make what Tiger made. I gotta hide away. And I go there sometimes to get my mind a break. I find a way to still get through the struggle. What I'm trying to say. And I ain't lying today when I tell you that I love my. It's what my title say Me and my homies, DJ Ho He feel some type of way She got a Georgia peach on her real end Like a license plate No rookie, girl, Scott Cookie Got me high today I probably make More money in six months That what's in your papa say Look like I robbed the bank I said it all like Queen of Tifa Cause I'm living single I'm feeling cautious I ain't scream when they serve us a penal I heard he a leader Come follow my tribe today I fucked him, now he hit it He feel some type of way Don't know how to say I ain't the hardest man working Attention we pay It's always a man lurking No man perfect But God, my head, I nod Rick, homie, all oh, my nigga been us Trying to make him sense Ain't no telling what he'll do for the play Ain't no telling Two play, punch straight I stay my plate, shot day I'm a smooth operator I drop top of my wheel, baby That car I'm driving make you feel some type of way I know you do That custom brightly make you feel some type of way I'm shining, ho This bitch on we got me feeling some type of way okay, okay. Easy cause my homies rich, you feel some type of way some type of way, make you feel some type of way. Her, she wanna fuck me, know you feel some type of way. Mr. CEO, it's what my title say. Me and my homies, DJ Ho, he feel some type of way. I know you do. Don't look like that. Thank you, Lord. Let go, let go.
What's up with it? It's your boy JT, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I started off with that rich homie Quan. Um, R.I.P. Rich homie Quan, man. You know, um, it's a sad thing. But we got a far guest in the house today, man. We're gonna we about to turn it up. Yeah, we're going to up the move, man. Like I say, R.P. Rich Homie Kwan, man. We got a far guest in the house. We got um J.G. Cicero today. What's yo, up? yo. What's up with it? What's going on, baby? How you? You already know. I want to appreciate you for turning up the energy for us today, man. You got you definitely be giving some energy in your music. Shelsky, I appreciate you. Yeah. But well, go ahead and um introduce yourself to the people. So check dig. I am J.G. Cicero, songwriter national recording artist and author. Um, you know, I've been doing music for a long, long time. I tell people all the time that I probably uh, came out the cooch with a microphone, you know what I'm saying? So uh, music music has been my life. Uh, that's that's what I have dedicated my life to, uh, you know, bringing, bringing people together, uplifting people and motivating people uh, through song. And, and speaking of um giving back and uplifting people, you just recently did a, a community cookout. Um, tell the people about that and how that went. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of that, uh, I know you uh said something about Rich Homie Quan. Uh, R.I.P. to him. Um, God bless his family. Um, and and the reason why I went home to do the wake up, the wake up was to bring awareness to gun violence, drug overdosing, and the over sexualization of women in hip hop. You know, um, and so the wake up was just to get us, you know, the, the uh, uh, our brown people together and the hip hop community together to, you know, celebrate without guns, without drama, without without um, disrespecting each other, without um, nobody dying and just come together uh, for a nice time. And I also uh, gave away. Um, I also hosted my first uh, one mic, one night, one thousand dollars that was you know, presented inside of the wake up, you know, shout out to my man, Ayo Low. I, I, I presented an artist, uh, with a thousand dollars. They competed, um, you know, and I did the credit They I had the host do the crowd thing and my man, Ayo Low won a thousand dollars from me. So, uh, the wake up was a huge, huge, uh, success, uh, in my home city, Cleveland, Ohio. So shout out everybody who came out for that. Yeah, I was definitely tuned into your live. I watched it. I watched. Okay. It. I, watched, I watched him go. I watched him go ham. Um, okay. And you said back home. You mentioned you was from Cleveland. So, um, tell the people a little bit about where you are from. Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it's a dope place for 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 certain reasons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody know that that Cleveland, Ohio, is where Bone Thugs and Harmony are from. You know, and it's it's a lot, a lot, a lot of dope uh, talent. Uh, in Cleveland, uh, you know, it's as far as the the entertainment scene. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of dope talent, but I feel like as far as far as the hierarchy of things, uh, I feel like it could be better. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna uh, take no shots or throw no blows at nobody. That's why I did the wake up and came home and did the thousand dollars because I said I was gonna be the difference. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need of you know talking about it. You got to be about it. You know what I'm saying? But Cleveland is a, is a dope place. Uh, I'm from St. Clair, you know, St. Clair, but I, I don't get into all the, you know, I, I, I only rep one, uh, piece of Cleveland. I rep all the Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to 216 Ohio period. Ohio period. You hear me? Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. We in the house. You hear me? I told y'all we doing big things here in Ohio and this interview for us, putting this interview together. I ain't going to lie. Um, I hadn't forgot about it, but it kind of has shocked me because I had reached out to you. Um, several different ways and then this time i have reached out to you but i looked at the message i have sent you answer back i have sent it back to you back in december 
Okay. I definitely want to um salute you and thank you for getting back with me and um coming on the platform and, and, and letting people see how we can can work together. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So you say you um got a little saying where you say you um tell people you came out the cooch with a mic. So tell us for us how was it for you growing up in Cleveland? Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland was dope. Growing up in Cleveland, I had a lot, a lot of dope times. I had a lot of dope times. Uh, in school, everybody knew me. I always tell people, uh, I was borderline whack, but I was popular because I could do music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, singing was my first love. I, I started out singing. So I, I sung in all the church choirs. I sung in all the school choirs. Um, and then when I turned 11, uh, that's when I discovered Missy Elliott. And I was like, oh, you know, I want to rap. And so I used to get in trouble for, for causing the ruckus in the hallways, for rapping in the hallways. My dude be doing the beats on the locker and we'd be late to class. Everybody be late to class. We'd be huddled up. Lunchroom. I'm taking I'm taking niggas uh, pizza. You know, we had the little square pizza. I'm taking I'm taking niggas pizza for the rap battles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh you know growing up growing up was dope it, I, I had a lot of um you know a little a, a little rough patches too as far as my confidence uh as far as my confidence you know because kids can be cruel i always been a big girl you know so people you know made fun of me or whatever but she you know what i'm saying i made it through right you most definitely um hold your head high and you rep definitely rep um For sure. at 11 you got familiar with uh missy elliott is that kind of where you picked up like your your unique style from and being different i i think i think i always tell people uh missy missy definitely gave me my first shot of dope you know what i'm saying because she was a plus size woman she was a darker tone woman and when i saw her that let me know that i could be dope as well you know what i'm saying so yeah i, I definitely um probably got a little bit of my swag from her especially when i was a shorty i i dressed like her I, I wore my hair like her. I wanted to be just like her. So, um, but as I grew up, as I grew up, I feel like I've I've come into JG Exist role, just just my own. But you know, a lot of people compare us uh, a lot because you know she sings and raps, and, and and so do I. Right. Um, growing up in Cleveland, we know um, like you say, being introduced to Missy Elliott, then coming from Cleveland, where is the home? Um, Bones, Thugs, and Harmony. Um, who else would you say you was um inspired by in music? Um, coming up. Um, let me see here. See, see, when I when I was growing up, we had everybody was on the radio. We had different uh, genres, you know. So, um, I remember as a shorty, shorty, I really, really loved Shabba Ranks. I love Shabba Ranks. Uh, who else? Um, it was another guy, um, Shaggy. You know, uh, Patra. You know. Uh, I, I I was really into the reggae scene. Uh, who else? Uh, ja Rule, Lil Kim, Left Eye, definitely TLC, Foxy Brown. Uh, who else? Um, Heavy D. I, I really rock with Heavy D. It, it was a lot of oh, definitely Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. Um, it was a lot of people. I, I listened to everybody. I listened to everybody, but nobody, 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 nobody really got to me and really you know, did a number on me like Missy, but I, I rock with everybody. And that's what I, I loved about uh, growing up as a kid, as far as music, because I got to hear a little bit of everything. So it wasn't just like, oh, you know, you just get to hear this, like how I kind of feel like it is now. It's like, I, I got to hear some of everybody. Right. And then far as being like um supportive, um uplifting, um, how 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 do you feel right now about like the um the female genre of music the lanes that females have created now and the movement that they have going on? Uh, shout out shout out to all the females uh spitting, shout out to all the females uh that's that's doing their thing um and that's coming up through the ranks. I I I still I I will have to be honest and say I still would like to uh see more lyricist more lyricist more as far as female females being pushed. Uh, to the front and and as far as males too, I, I would like to see more lyricists like uh where where hip hop came from because like this my thing we we all like to party, you know we all like to turn up. I like to party. I like to turn up. I I like to see women twerk just like everybody else like to see women twerk. But at the at the end of the day, like I said from my genre, it, it was just more well rounded. You you could actually pick 
you know, who you who you rocked out to. And kind of now I just feel like they only push one type of artist to the forefront. And I think, you know, um, artists like myself, Tierra Wag, Rhapsody, you know, uh, female rappers like us, female artists like us, uh, you know, we not like everybody else, but I feel like we should we should be pushed out, you know, to the forefront more in our own lane. Right. And as you said, you grew up as a singer um, and then going back to the thing of um, coming out the cooch with a mic. How did you finally start getting into doing music and put, put, putting out your music? So, I and I, you know, I always wonder that myself uh, with people just in general. I'd be like, Dad, when you got a gift, how do you be knowing that you got that gift? But I, I guess that's just between you and you and God. You know what I'm saying? You you be birthed here, and I just I guess it just be something in your brain, like yo, I can sing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I never forget I was a shorty, like I probably was like four or five, and my mother uh, bought me a Fisher Price microphone with the tape recorder thing, and I walked around the house and I sang, 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 sang. And uh, in 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 kindergarten, that's when I always tell people that's when I got my first gig. Uh, I, I sung as a singing tree in in kindergarten, you know, and everybody, you know, was like, oh, you know, she did so good, you know, and um, you know, and I and I mean, like, singing was my first love. Like, I went around singing. Like, I was eleven. I was eleven years old, twelve years old. I re never forget. Uh, in fifth grade, my secretary's husband passed away. Uh, I was in the fifth grade and, you know, she asked my mother and asked my teacher, could I miss school that day to come sing at her husband's funeral? You know what I'm saying? Like I was, I had a voice like a grown woman when I was a shorty. So, uh, singing was definitely the first love. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember how I knew that I could sing, you know, but I knew, you know, and I, and I just followed it and I, and I just loved it. And it's just been my thing ever since. Right. So being a, um, a national recording artist, are you signed or are you um independent? I'm independent. And what are some of the like the, the pros and cons you think of being independent versus being signed? Uh pros and cons. So a pro, a pro is you get the release whenever you want to, you get to release whatever you want to. Um, you know, I get to come on my platform and say whatever I want to say, you know, I get to move however I want to move. Um, I get to, I get to make my own bread and everything is mine. You know, I don't owe nobody nothing. Um, but, but, but a con for me is, uh, I'm only one, I'm only one person, you know what I'm saying? So when you sign, you have the machine working for you and, you know, while you sleep, you know, you got somebody promoting you or they playing your music over here or they playing your music over here and you, and you got the labels and the, and the bigger people at the labels to, you know, walk you through, uh, bigger doors, you know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, I'm I'm not opposed to being signed to the right deal, to the right deal, not no no goofball shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I be seeing so many art artists like, man, I I got a bad deal, I got a bad deal, you know. But you sign the contract and you got to look, you got to read, you know. So um, you know, it got its pros and cons. I, I'm just thankful uh, that that. I got this voice. I got this talent. I'm alive. My body good. My mind good. And I and I'm able to you know put my gift out there to the world. Whatever whatever come is whatever come. I, I seen a dude the other day. He he um said something about a triple A method. He said you have to acknowledge, appreciate, and allow. And so that's what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I acknowledge that I got the gift. I appreciate that I got the gift, and I'm gonna allow. Whatever needs to happen or whatever God got for me to, to come through. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. Most definitely. Um, you also mentioned you are um you are an author. Tell them tell us about your book. Yeah, I, I came out with a book, I want to say 2019, called Overcome. Overcome. Uh it's it just tells uh the life of JG Cicero from, from childhood all the way up until until about I, I probably talked about it all the way up until like 2017. You know, I talked about, uh, you know, the relationship with, with certain family members. Um, I talked about sexuality. I talked about, you know, things that went on that, 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 that were roadblocks that I had to get past. Um, it's really, and it's really a dope book. It's a short read and it's just a motivational, uh, read 
for anybody. It don't have to be a music artist. It's for anybody who who is, you know, striving to be, you know, whatever right. you're you're striving to be. It's it's a it's a it's a dope book for anybody who is striving to be to let you know, like roadblocks is just roadblocks. You figure out how to get around them and don't never never give up. Don't never never quit. Cause I had some times in my life where I felt like like dad, like I felt like I wasn't getting. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to be able to get through, but you know what I'm saying? I got through. Everybody get through, but you just got to keep going. You feel me? Right. And if people out there want to get a copy of your book, how can they get it? You can go, you can actually DM me. You can DM me or, or you can actually go to my website, www.jjigcicero.com and cop a, uh, if you purchase something on the site, you actually get a free a free uh download a free pdf of of overcome if you buy something from the store i got the whole idgaf store popping you know what i'm saying so uh yeah www.jjigcicero.com or you can dm me on facebook uh instagram wherever i i shoot the book straight to your house that's definitely dope and i i, I know people 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 love they they love free stuff um and speaking of the um igaf you know, you got a um a popping song titled IGAF. Um, tell us about that and how you came up with the concept in the, in the whole movement. So what happened was this this was this is the story behind IDGAF. Now I've always had this attitude because I've always felt like uh me being me, you know, me being a plus size girl, me being a kind of like rough around the edges, me not being no dainty girl. I always feel like I always got to fight. You know, Sophia, like always got to not physically fight, but fight for my space, fight for my respect, fight for, you know. So um, I actually did a competition. It was a, a rap competition. Um, and everybody said that I won the competition. Everybody was like, man, you killed that. You killed that. But the girl who threw the competition was actually a rapper for herself. And it was evident that she she just did not pick me because. She 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 might in her mind felt like I was better than her, so she gave it to another girl, and everybody was so pissed. Like my fans and my supporters was so pissed, you know. And so I had moved on about it. And so like two months later, you know, one of my fans had hit me up in the DM like, "Man, I'm still mad about that one competition, man. You should have had that because it was fifteen hundred dollars up for grabs." And, and my and my fans and my supporters really wanted me to win that. And so and so before and she said it and before I even knew it. I pressed the voice button and I was like, I don't give a fuck about none of these hoes. You know what I'm saying? Really? And so I drove to the store that day and the hook came in my head. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of these hoes off top. They make shit clear. So I did the video while I was driving and asked my fans and my supporters, like, y'all think I should make this a song? And they was like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause they already knew where I was coming from while I was making it. And so I put it out and it took off. It took off. I mean, across the globe, like, so many people, I got so many shares, so many reposts, so many downloads. I, I got over a million downloads and streams just off that one song. So people really love that, you know. Yeah, that's the song that I had caught, um, that had got my attention um off off of Facebook. And on the website, I also seen that you got the um IGF merch and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me get the people a little bite. You ain't getting no ends out here, bitch. I earn. It ain't my fault that you thrive off me being down, bitch. I'm turned. I used to give a fuck what a hoe had to say, but bitch, I learned. If it ain't by the check, ain't no need for you to check. So these hoes is none of my concern. Tell a dude run my end. Before I make contact, chin. Late on my 5010. I cannot pretend. Me and lame hoes don't blend. Fuck what you thought in your opinion. No new friends. I don't need to make no mends. I don't need to follow no trends. Fuck them. Fuck, give a fuck about none of these hoes. Let the hook come to their ass again. Ooh. And um, at the end, I'm gonna play the video for the people. I'm gonna play the remix. Um, and in the video, it's like a um a mini movie and everything. So you really turned that IGF into like a whole whole movement. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it it is. It's a it's a movement. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a movement. It ain't just a song. It's a movement because you know people might hear the song and feel like the song is derogatory. But um, I honestly feel like man, in, in life, whatever you doing, you have to. 
uh, develop the IDGAF attitude to some to a certain extent because if you don't, you will always care. So you 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 will give so many fucks about what another person have to say to the point where you can't do what you need to do. Most you know what I'm saying? So it's it's definitely a movement. Right. Um. And then growing up in Ohio, um, how do you think it is for um artists, um entertainers coming up out of Ohio, for, as far as us being like a a small a small state? I I will honestly say it's tough. It's tough because, like I said, uh, and I and I'm just speaking from my experience. Um, you really don't have nobody around to help you. You know, it it be a, it be a lot of sharks around. To, to take your money, oh, you know, I can do this, I can do that. And then you will look up three, four years later, and you'll be like, damn, I done spent all this money and I done did all this and, and I haven't gotten anywhere. It's a lot of people who have platforms that actually don't push you forward. It's just it's just a money grabber. It's just a money grabber. And I always tell artists, um, when, when, when people see you coming, the DJs, the promoters, not all of them, but the promoters, anybody... <laughs> That has to see anything with music. They most of them see artists as a lick. It's just a quick lick. Oh, I I can get some money out these niggas. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't. It, you you really have to be thankful if you come in contact with somebody who is actually um, capable of moving you forward and actually offers you that. You know, right. most people they they got the capabilities. They can make a phone call. They can. They can they can put you in a in a certain position and they know you got to tell it. But but it's it's a lot of people who just want to keep you on a hamster wheel, keep you doing the same thing, keep you doing the same thing until you finally just give up and give out, you know. And in, in Ohio, that's what I experienced. That's what I experienced, you know what I'm saying? So uh it, it's definitely tough. You know, if you don't know what you're doing and if you're looking for help, it's 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 tough for you. So I, I just suggest to everybody. To get on, get on the books, get on Google and ask Google uh, what you need to know. You know what I'm saying? Don't look for nobody to give you no handouts. Just just read read yourself and move on your own accord. Right, right. I most definitely got the um, IGF attitude, and I and I feel the same way as you do about how how it is. And I got the type of mentality. I feel like if if one person win, we all win. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So down there in Cleveland. In that part of Ohio, um, for the people I don't know, Cleveland is one of the major cities in um, in Ohio. Um, how do they receive your music down there? The people, the people loved it. The people loved it. The people loved it. Um, you know, it was it was a, a few internet internet DJs who who loved it, but um, again, you know, the the hierarchy of things is 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 different. You know. Um, and, 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 and to be honest, I will have to say um, the hierarchy of things all across the board as far as me, um, you know, people, they like the music. They know that you got it, but they want to they want to hold you. They want to tell you you ain't got the look. You ain't got the sound. You you too rough. You know, you you too rough for a woman. You know, you ain't sexy enough, you know, so. Um, I, I got, I got the music, you know what I'm saying? And I've been had the music, but people, people had their own little pet peeves and what, what, what a woman should be and what a woman should look like, you know? And so, uh, in Cleveland, it was the same, but the people, the people love me, you know what I'm saying? The people down on the ground, they love you, you know what I'm saying? So oh, shout out, shout out to Cleveland, shout out to everybody in Cleveland that rocked with me from the jump. Like I started out. Um, in front of the liquor stores and the gas stations, uh, taking donations for my CDs, and the people was definitely receptive. They definitely uh, supported. So shout out to Cleveland, shout out to Ohio, because I did that all across Ohio. That's what's up. And, and, and speaking of Ohio, have you worked with any other Ohio artists? Um, yeah. So you were speaking of the IDGAF remix. Um, I actually. Three of those people who are on the IDGAF remix are artists from Ohio. Uh, A.O. Low is in Columbus. Uh, Semi is in Cleveland. And Rello Woe is also um, in Cleveland. Um, I had a guy named uh, Faria come out and do my the Wake Up With Me. I did a song from him with him. He from Cleveland. Uh, I got a song with a girl called B. LaRue. Her name B. LaRue. She from Cleveland. 
Um, I got a song with a. Uh, uh, I got a song with a, I got songs with a few people from from Ohio. You know. Right, and, and speaking of having songs with um other Ohio artists features. Are you open to doing features with other artists outside of Ohio or do you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. For sure. I got a few that I got to bust out right now. And you know, anybody who, who want to do a feature, I, like I said, I'm, I'm an independent artist, so I know how it is. So I work with all budgets. You know, if, if you, if you want to feature from JJ Cicero, like I said, just DM me or uh, email me. My email is in the link in my bio on um, Instagram. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely open. I do brand songs for people, too. Anybody out there who has a business like you, Hank, you got the show. You know, I just did one of these, too, where a person got a um like a YouTube show and they wanted me to do the like the intro for their show. I do intro. I do intros like that. I do brand songs, for people's businesses, uh, all type of stuff. I do voiceovers. You know, so I, I use this voice, you know what I'm saying? So hire me. I'm 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 open for hire for features and everything else. Most definitely your, your, your intellectual property. And, yes. um, and that's that was gonna be my next question. You told us about the um the voiceovers and the intros. What else do you do outside of music? But besides those things. Um let me, know, ask you, let me ask you, is it, any, is it anything other than music that you want to do? Let me just ask you that since you already really answered that. I would that. love, you know what I would love to do? I would love to act and I would love to make, make a movie. I would, I would love to do that. I would love to act. I would love to make a movie. I would love to uh, learn how to play an instrument. Uh, you know, I, I love, I love movies and I love to hear, uh, you know, what, what music is playing doing the doing the movies but you know everybody is making movies now i'm like shit i can make me a movie you right. know what i'm saying so I, I would love 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 to do that i would love to make a fire ass movie you know i know told this on um, the story a couple of times um i know a guy who shot um a series i'm gonna say it might be like a hundred episode series and if he didn't tell you you wouldn't even know he shot it all on the iphone yeah oh yeah it's dope you wouldn't yeah even see it. Yeah, you can the iPhone, iPhone get it done. Most definitely. So um shows, are you doing any shows? You got any up sh upcoming shows coming up? Let me see. Uh I think the the wake up, yeah, the wake up was the last the last show that I got on my roster. Um and I don't have anything else planned as of now as 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 a far as far as a, a date, but I definitely want to do the wake up here in Atlanta cuz you know I live in Atlanta now. So I definitely want to do the wake up here uh, next. Uh, so everybody just stay tuned for the for the date of when I'll be doing the wake up here in Atlanta. Uh, I just had to take it home first and do it do it at the at the house first, you know. Right. And by you being a um an independent artist, like I said, I got um familiar with you off of Facebook. Um, to me, you had the viral reel going on. What are some things you think you do you you do different than other artists to, to promote and get your brand and music out there? Ask that one more time for me. I said, um, what are some things you think you do different than other artists to get your um music and brand out there? Um, well, and and I and I I I don't I don't mean uh you know come off as you know uh you know braggy or anything, but for one, I'm good. I, I know that I'm good. I'm 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 a good artist. Um, and so you know, when when I when I put something out there, even if it's just a freestyle, I make sure it's good. You know what I'm saying? I make sure it's good. Um, and I study, I study the algorithms and things of that nature too. Like I study the algorithms for Instagram. I, I keep up on what's new, how 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 Instagram moving, you know, so so I can post at the right time and and, and, and do uh the right thing. Um and, and I just I just always come through authentically jig. You know what I'm saying? I never try to do nobody else. Um, and I and I'm unapologetically me a hundred percent of the time. You know, I feel like a lot of times artists a lot of times will fall into categories with other people because you trying to do what everything every everybody else is doing. You trying to follow a trend, but I don't follow no trends, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't have any trends to follow. I'm the trend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a, I'm a, I just do me. I just do me. Ever since I came out, I just always 
did me. And then another thing, uh, I don't slack on my promotion. I don't mind sp spending money on myself. A lot of artists uh, fall by the wayside because they don't want to spend no ends. Like you got to spend ends. You got to sometimes spend some ends to, you know, lift your lift yourself up in front of you know the masses because everybody rapping now everybody singing so you might have to spend a few dollars you might have to put a few dollars on the ad you know to get some new fans to get some new customers you know um so i i, I definitely don't mind spending no bread um you know and I, and i pull up you know what i'm saying i pull up i let people know i let people know all the time even when i'm in a grocery store i'd be like yo you know people be like oh i like your hair i give them a card my name jg cicero follow me listen to some music stream something you feel me i've always put myself out there no matter how many accomplishments i got no matter how many streams or whatever no no, no followers or nothing i'm always put myself out there right and um what you working on now are you currently working on anything well i just released a, a new single called elevator uh it's a short it's a short song but it's 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 real it's real nice it's it's a it's a it's a dope ass bopping ass cut make you want to get up and go get some money so y'all make sure y'all stream elevator by jj cicero and the next thing i i, I actually want to do as far as musically i want to put out a double ep i want to put out a double ep I, I took to um social media about a month or two ago and i asked my fans what type of music did they want from me this time? Did they want some bopping, you know, some more type of IDGAF type music? Or did they want some soulful, real nigga music? And, you know, they was like, yeah, give us both. So I want to put out a double EP, maybe four songs on each side. You know, and that's, that's what I'm working on right now. Double EP from JJ Cicero. Right. And um, you, you kind of already answered it. Um, What's some, uh, some other advice you would give the up? other up-and-coming artists that's in the independent lane because i think far as right now by being so easy to put out music and yeah social media and stuff like that it kind of get oversaturated and uh, i think a lot of good a lot of good talent get overlooked yeah well you just you just always got to be willing to go the extra mile like i said um one thing that i noticed about a lot of artists they don't want to spend no ends they don't want to spend no money because everything is so accessible you know Oh, I could just put this on social media. Yeah, but like you said, everybody putting stuff out on social media. So you might have to put it, put a put a put a ten put ten dollars on your on, on on your post so it can reach further. You know what I'm saying? So you can get some more views and ain't no telling who might see it. You right. know what I'm saying? You gotta you definitely gotta spend spend the bread on your copyrights. Make sure your business is together. Make sure your business is together because you don't want you don't want one of your songs to go viral you know, or somebody to play one of your songs. That happened to me one time early in my career where I, I released a song called LeBron. And this guy, he he used my song. He used my song and I didn't have my business together. He used my song and he had like 17 million views on the, on the, on the thing. And I just lost out on that bread because I ain't have my business together. You know what I'm saying? So Always make sure your business is together, man. And read, man. Read, 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 read for yourself. Anything that you want to know. Uh, it's pros and cons to the internet. But one of the pros is whatever you want to know, whatever you want to know, you can ask Google. She going to tell you every Google. time. You feel Google me? Or YouTube University. Yeah, YouTube, wherever. Get on that internet and instead of just looking and, and being entertained, learn something too. Right. And um, tell the people who... um. JJ Cicero is as an artist. Uh JJ Cicero as an artist is a, is a motivator. JJ Cicero is a uplifter. JJ Cicero um going to get the go is is a party starter. You know, uh JJ Cicero is a storyteller. Um you know, and, and JJ Cicero when you hear some JJ Cicero even if I'm telling a fucked up story, you know, you going you going you going to feel good in the process because I told the, the story so well. Uh, but but more more than anything, JJ Cicero is gonna uplift you. She gonna motivate you and, and let you know some real shit through song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let you let you know to feel good about yourself, let you know to do your shit no matter what. You know, JJ Cicero is definitely the motivator and 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 uh I inspire as far as my artistry. So that's who JJ Cicero is. Yeah, you most definitely inspire. And then outside of we know outside of streaming your music, um, shopping on the website, what are some other things people can do to to, to support you? 
Um, I people people send me donations. Sometimes people send me donations. Um, like uh, I had a lot of people when I was when I do the, did the wake up. A lot of people just sent me donations. Like Jig, I I've been seeing you working for a long time. I just I just want to get I just want to put something on it, you know. And sometimes people do that with with my career, you know. Um, but like I tell people, I have things for you to purchase. You know, all, all my clothing is good quality. So, uh, you know, like I tell uh, my my fans and my supporters, support your independent artists, man. Support your independent artists. You want to see them further. You want to see them do well. You you buying a shirt that day might just uplift their spirits, and but somebody might have could have been just being on, on on the brink of quitting, you know. But you supporting them by buying some merchandise from them might might keep them from from quitting. Like when you see that yo yo independent artists that you like got something support them you know you can always send a donation it's many ways you can send a donation cash app zell uh you know uh venmo whatever you use you know send somebody send 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 your favorite uh independent artists a donation you know what i'm saying just reach out to them and let them know that you watching them and you and you fuck with them and you jigging with them and and you know you don't want them to give up you know what i'm saying drop something i always tell somebody drop something in the bucket you know what i'm saying yeah, right yeah and I want the people to know that the wake up definitely was dope. I yeah. watched I watched some of the live stream. Um, make sure y'all slap through her page and, and, and check it out. I got the links to her Instagram and IG in the description of this video. Um, let the people know where they can read find you at. You can find me everywhere at JJ Cicero Instagram at JJ Cicero, uh, TikTok at JJ Cicero Eleven, Facebook JJ Cicero. Uh, YouTube, J. Jig Cicero. You can Google J. Jig Cicero and all my stuff will pop up. So wherever you, you know, want to follow me at, all my stuff will pop up. You know, my uh, iTunes, Spotify, everything is J. Jig Cicero. Right. I think I might already know the answer to this, but let me ask you, Um, what's your dream? What's your dream feature? Who's your dream feature? Mm. And I know you think it's going to be Miss Elliott. Hey, yeah. That would that did definitely be a dope feature, but I'm trying to think: is it anybody else who I'd be like, "Ooh, I know they we we'll, we'll make a fire ass song." Let me see. Ooh, I don't know. I guess I guess I do got to go to with Missy. I, I never thought about that before, like a dream feature, because I because I'm so um diverse. With making music, I can get on the track with anybody, and that shit gonna be fly. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, me and Missy definitely, definitely make a dope ass cut. And and if me and Missy make a dope ass cut, I want Timberland on the track. I want the whole, the whole nostalgia. I want Timberland on the track. You feel me? Right. Um. Yeah. And also, by you mentioning that you sing, so on your projects, um, is it tracks from there where it's just singing? Nope. I I don't have, I don't have tracks. Where I just sing only, but you would hear me throw a harmony in there. You know what I'm saying? People be like, "Oh yeah, Jig, I've been hearing you singing," but I, I haven't, I haven't put together uh, a track yet where I'm just singing. Nope. Right. And don't forget the um the link for that website is you say on your Instagram bio. Yep. Yep. So, so yep. Sure it's in the, it's in the link bio. Everything is in the link bio. Make sure y'all slide through there and um. Check it out. Check out the merch. Visit the page. Make sure y'all give her a follow. Is there anything else you want the people to know about JG Cicero? No, man. I I, I just want to let everybody know I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate everybody for the streams, the downloads, the follows, the shares. You know, because I always tell people without y'all, it would I wouldn't be as big as I am. You know, it, it's the streams and the follows and the shares and you hipping your your grandma and them on, you know, to me, uh, that, that, that keep it spreading out. So I appreciate everybody. Just everybody stay tuned. I got some, I got some things going on, you know, in the work, in the works, just, just stay tuned to JJ Cicero. Make sure y'all keep streaming, make sure y'all keep supporting by, by sharing and hit somebody on, you know what I'm saying? Every time you can. Right. I'm about to go ahead. I'm gonna hit the people with that, um, IG, IDGF remix video. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Let me call this nigga Jig real quick, man. What up, Jig? Yo, yo, what's goody? Like, all this fucked up shit that keep happening to me, bro. I don't even know what the hell. Like, my luck, I'm down bad on my luck, man. Fuck all that. You got that package I sent you, right? 
Yeah, man, I got this joint right here. All right, pop that. Meet me at the spot. I'm pulling up in a few hours. You already know what it is. I'll get you the rest of that shit. All right, bet. All right, chat. It's clever thoughts, baby. I don't give a fuck about them. They can kiss my whole bottom. Stop it with a red bottom. Till the soul lift out of Cold in some snow, have a sniffer like a cold got em. All around the glow, now I'm ballin' like a glow trider. Once I wanna go, no breaks, so that mean no stopping. When I'm on the move, I'm a whole caution, yeah. Fly as fuck, call me a lame Martian. Tell Ville, come, 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 park it. Cross the edge, I'm on my way up. Sky box, give me a copy. Prices all the way up. Suck on a popsicle like a pimp I don't give a fuck about who watching you Don't drink your feet, bitch, yeah, but that would do Let's go In they faces like, ooh shit They asking her questions like, who the hell you with? See to your bitch, ain't no way you can doubt them Don't fuck with new friends, I do better without them The bands on no way, time to motherfucking count them Let them know, chick, I don't give a fuck about them I don't give a fuck about none of these hoes I am the trenches, St. Clair, 123rd, my block ain't raised no bitch. Me and JJ both grew up on the 127th bloodline, go back like syringes. I got the bag, glad, ziplock full of that BP, nigga, that's gas. Riding down the clear, throwing money out the roof like my name, Paper Chase, make a broke bitch mad. I don't give a fuck about what a nigga know, what a nigga got, or what a nigga sold. Cause truth be told, you can sell 25 bricks in a row when you still ain't woke. 
quo. I don't gotta do not one push up and I still get blow for the low. 2200 for the pack, send it through the mail. Bubble like a Montclair coat. Really ain't into that internet chit chat. Pussy got a problem, you can set to my face. How you scream beef, then run to the police. I don't give a fuck about catching no case. Stay in your place. Don't give a fuck about none of these hoes. I'm top of the mix shit. None of these hoes. Let me make shit. None of these hoes. I'm top of the mix shit. None of these hoes. I don't give a fuck about none of these hoes. I'm top of the mix shit. None of these hoes. Let me make shit. None of these hoes. I'm top of the mix shit. None of these hoes. I don't give a fuck about them. 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 Not one. I don't give a fuck about them. 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 Not one. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that bitch. Fell down five. Got back up six. Bitch, I'm saucy. Bitch, I'm rich. Bitch, I'm dripping. Bitch, I'm lit. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that bitch. Fell down five. Got back up six. Bitch, I'm saucy. Bitch, I'm rich. Bitch, I'm dripping. Bitch, I'm lit. It ain't my fault you ain't getting no ends out here. Bitch, I earn. It ain't my fault that you thrive off me being down. Bitch, I'm turned. I used to give a fuck what a hoe had to say. But bitch, I learned. If it ain't by the check, ain't no need for you to check. So these hoes is none of my concern. Tell a nigga run my in. Before I make contact chin. Late on my 5010. I cannot pretend. Me and lame hoes don't blend. Fuck what you thought in your opinion. No new friends. I don't need to make no mins. I don't need to follow no trends. Fuck them. Fuck them. Give a fuck about none of these hoes. At the hook, come tell their ass again. Woo! You definitely ready to make your acting debut. I only hey. got only, <laughs> that was dope. I told you like a mini movie. I only got one more question for you. Um, the treatment for that video, the storyline. Did, did you do come up with that yourself? Uh no, actually, uh Brooke Knight, Brooke Knight, Brooke Knight, my manager, she actually came up for the treatment for the video. Um, you know, all the all the dropping off, you know, people taking the IDGAF pill, you know, she came up with that. Yeah, that definitely was dope, and you definitely ready for your um, um for your acting day. That was your acting debut right there, though. For sure, for sure. Yep, yep. And, and one more time before we go, tell the people they can find you at. Everything, J J Cicero. You can Google J J Cicero. That's J space J I G space C I C E R O. And if you Google J J Cicero, that'll bring up all my stuff. Wherever you want to follow me at Instagram, Twitter, uh, you know. Uh, TikTok, Facebook, wherever. Yep, and I also got it in um in the description of this video. I want to thank you for coming through. And like I tell everybody, once you come through Hankin TV, um, you forever family. So whatever you got going on, I make sure I share it. Um, your music, whatever you got going, I make sure I still share it. For Shosky, for Shosky, I I definitely come through. I definitely come through again. This was a dope interview. Okay, I appreciate. It. I'm gonna be hitting you up. For Shosky. Okay, okay, thanks. One. Yep. Y'all make sure y'all slide through and check out um JG Cicero, man. She's dope. Like I told y'all, all her um her links is in the description of this video. Um, like I was saying earlier, man. Um, excuse me, R.I.P. Rich Homie Quan, man. It's sad. It's a sad thing that um people, artists, artists ain't celebrated until they gone. It's like once an artist pass away, their streams go up, their followers go up. Um, as you can see, everybody on um. YouTube and the social media platforms just talking about it. And that's sad, man. So that's one of the things Hank and TV, man. We celebrating the artists and the people, um, business and brand owners while they're here. Also, I just uploaded a new video on my channel. Um, the interview I did the other day with T Money. T Money talking about he blew a million dollars. So, man, make sure y'all slap through and check that out. Don't forget, we got the um Hank and TV comedy night coming out. And also, um, subscribe to Mr. Says something. Go to my community wall. Got to scroll down. I'm going to put one at the top. Scroll down to the post to say giveaway. Um, um, like that so I get the notification. Hit that link. Go subscribe to Mr. Says Something. Then say done. We're going to do a drawing. We're giving away a pair of um, a pair of Yeezy slides and a pair of um, black and yellow Jordans. Also, um, 
we already know they men's size. And so for the women, if they want to give them away, what we'll do, we'll do a, um, a cash exchange for them. But we definitely doing a giveaway, man. Hit that like button. Hit that share button, man. And I'm out. I'm going to take y'all out with a banger before we go. Let me see what I got. Let me see what I got for us. I'm going to take us out with something. Hold on. Let me see. What I got. What I got. Uh, uh, I'm just going to take us out with the intro side and play when we first came in. I'm going to holler, man. Hit that like button. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody like a, a definition of hanking. Um, in Dayton, you know, um, people selling drugs, they called it hanking. You know, if a nigga was selling a lot of dope, they like, you know what I'm saying, I'm hanking. Yeah. So what I did, I did it, took and put a, um, a positive spin to it, you know. So I took the word hanking and I made it stand for um, when you can supply the demand and consistently turn a profit. This is a certified hood classic. We been had money. Money ain't nothing without us being together. It don't do no dip. It don't make no difference if you the the maid or if you the motherfucking bodyguard. Everybody get extras around here. Friends benefits. Everybody travel from place to place and kick it with each other. And every place is like home. Watch out, got that sauce. Let's get it. Welcome to my city, Westwood. They know how yo. Me and West players and hustlers check the body. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. I'm in love with the game. Run, hop a Norris Cole. Oh, how your player self made. Jim City, we on gold. M double G, yeah, money go get em. Real niggas bout that life. Niggas can't up with em. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit Let's from it. I salute to all the us, J, Charlie, Bugs, and Round, Keith, Denny, Burt, Earl, yeah. the D boys in the Alice, Chino and Lil J, J, Mac and Carly Young, Skane, Key, and Diamond Cut, DBM, you know we own. Yeah. I used to cook the beef, I did corn, shoot the three. When he played for the heats, then I flooded the streets. Hustle Gang, that's my squad. That's my Motherfucking team just might be your worst nightmare. A sale, you a dream. We all about the money. Up the system, they corrupt. Ain't no credit, straight cash. So I got my hustle up. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. Hey. Matter of fact, after you leave here, you end up getting your teeth on something and coming up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a new car, new house, maybe the kids get to go to school, private school, pay both courtesy of the mom. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know, that's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funeral. Simple. My boy Hankin TV, that's my dog. He gonna be on the channel real soon. I think tomorrow, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Hankin TV, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's my boy. He put dope content over there.